My name is Francesco Manacosa. I'm a curator here at the Barbican Art Gallery and um, I have uh, curated this exhibition, Radical Nature, which is a historical survey from the end of the 60s till today, looking at how artists and architects have collaborated with nature. For the younger generation that we are profiling here, for example, they are really pioneers in, uh, in some of the work that um, the older generation has produced, for example, the Wheatfield by Agnes Dennis. They are all incredibly inspirational ways of uh, looking at nature and producing the sculptures hand by hand without uh, uh, either of those two domains being to the detriment of the other. So sometimes uh, the activism and uh, the artistic and aesthetic component of the work really are married in an in uh, incredible way. When I started this, like over 40 years ago, Nobody was thinking environmentally. Today everything is green, uh, we are all of a sudden all over it. Nobody was interested in that. And it was a struggle to get the word out, not only that it was necessary, but that we were in trouble. Activism is a very important uh, component on many of the artists and architects' works in the exhibition. Some were, in particular the artists from the 70s generation, were directly involved in activist campaigns. I started doing ecological oriented work uh, basically because there was a need for it and also jumping ahead they have to be large to make an impact so I gave up painting and jumped off the canvas and into the environment. We look at guerrilla gardening in the context of the events which is a platform for the show to actually expand in different directions and guerrilla gardening is an example of uh, an intervention which which is partly political and partly aesthetic. Uh, it's about really bringing what the city is lacking into the city and bringing it in a sort of forceful and iconic way in order to um, make the message, not only the political message, but also the aesthetic message spread uh, outside the gallery and, uh, and reach the wider audience. My name is Richard Reynolds and I'm a guerrilla gardener, which means uh, I illicitly cultivate someone else's land without asking. And that land, for me, is public land and it's otherwise neglected land. One's eyes are opened when you start gardening in this way to the potential all over the place. So four years ago, over four nights, a group of about 20 of us um, cleared away that, that top layer, um, took that to the dump and then planted in over 200 of these lavender plants. Guerrilla gardening is, is very much um, tangible, ongoing, long-term um, environmental activism. Putting plants in a place where they shouldn't be is of um, appeal to those with a primary political motivation and to artists as well. But in that context, the gardening activity itself uh, does take a, a second billing. My gardens and the gardens that other guerrilla gardeners do are entertaining and more thought-provoking, but it's subtler because the gardens need to survive and grow and, and do their part. And that for me is of greater satisfaction. If you look at the exhibition today, it's a very important uh, moment because all the issues that the artists raised are on the headlines of newspapers every day. But in the same time, the way that the artists are looking at them is a particularly original and poetic one. Um, which sometimes uh, exceeds activism in, uh, in some way and, uh, and suggests new ways of thinking about our relationship to the landscape or to the natural world.